Hi guys, and welcome to what's technically part 21 of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. Um, when we last left off, we like, sort of died. So yeah. Um, so I'm going to be remaking... Um, I've tried doing this a few times now, and... I don't know, it just doesn't seem to be real appealing, so I'm hoping that this is actually going to get released. Um, again, I'm just going to be cutting any boring stuff out and just trying to keep it as interesting as possible. Um, what else? Oh yeah, my dwarfs. The first LP I did, the first 20 parts, as you all remember, um, I used like my subscribers' names. I'm just going to use video game characters. That's normally what I do and it makes it a lot easier. Just then I can track actually who is who. I'm sorry if that sucks for you guys. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. Oh yeah, I'm playing sort of now with a different sort of config. It's not going to affect that much. It's just a different config file. I've got like preloaded setups and stuff. And yeah, a few other stuff. So, right. First of all, that is F. We need an area with Fluxstone, no Aquifier, a river if possible. Underground river if possible, and a magma pipe. Um, I'll try and get one of those actually, other features. Just for future reference. But, um, yeah, in the last fortress, um, this is a game where you've got to learn from your mistakes. And in my last fortress, my mistake was not sealing off that magma pipe with a wall. I should have been all over that magma pipe and just sealed it up just so nothing could get out because that is ultimately what did kill me. Um, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. Or I'm hoping at least the magma pipe's underground so I can choose when I dig into it. Oh, please find a magma pipe. Please. Damn it. Right, I'm going to get rid of the river on the surface. No, in fact, I'm going to keep the river on the surface and get rid of the other features. It would have been nice, but oh well. There's nothing I can do about it. I probably should just cut this video here actually and resume when I find a decent site. In fact, I'm going to. I'm going to be doing that a lot, just cutting and editing and pasting all these parts together. So yeah, see you in the next... Well, I don't even know why I'm saying that, because it's not end of the video, but anyway, be right back. In fact, never mind, no, it's too late. It's already gone too long. There's only like 20 more searches to do. Although, it looks like I'm going to have to do another search. Yay, I am. So, see you in a second when I find us a decent site. And we are back what looks like a suitable site. Um, I tried low and low, but it didn't work. So, this has got some elevation, it's got medium temperature. It seems like a good site. The only thing it's missing is an underground river, which I'm not too fussed about, to be honest. We have a... Oh, flaming heck. There's no way to cancel... Uh, anyway, I'll just keep talking about the site. So there's no other features, which I'm not going to say what that is. We have a magma pipe, which I'm going to try and seal off, which is up there. That definitely needs sealing off first thing. Although I do need to try and get into the hills um, to be able to get some rock to seal that off. But we shall see. And I need to check where the river is as well, because I'm going to try and channel the river actually into my fort. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what to show and what not to show, but we'll see. Ooh, we've got a site with sand. <laughs> it's always nice. And we've got a hot... So, right, that's hot, and that's just warm. Yeah, so we've got a very, very... Yeah, so it's only around the river what's dangerous, and the rest of it's pretty good. So, right. E for embark, and... I have not done this right. Oh, right, guys, I'm going to set up my journey, so be right back. Hi, guys. Um, I'm going to stop doing that because we're not exactly ending videos. I'm just going to have this as one continuous part just threaded together. Well, but anyway, right. Bonus point is if you can guess where the names are from. Anyway. Right, we have Jay. He's a miner and he's got some a few points in the social skills which are useful for trading. Um, 
Todd, he's our secondary miner. Um, in his spare time, he does building design, and when we find some, he's going to be messing with gems. We have Mavis, who is evil, so she enjoys cutting down trees, designing buildings, and she also enjoys um, being a skill mechanic, which is useful for traps. Um, we have Lucy, who is our... She's not the only one, is she? No, thank God for that. She's our main carpenter. I was thinking of the guitar when I chose her to work with wood. And she's also our um, good at mason as well, which is making stuff out of stone. So she can make stuff out of stone and wood. Fatima, she's basically just good at making stuff out of stone and she's useful um, in the mechanic department. In fact, I'm going to change that slightly. I wanted to do building design as well. Right. Hank, guess what? Yep, he was a farmer on the Sims 3 game and he is a farmer slash brewer in this game. So he's going to be making our dwarves their drinks. Um, and last we have Catherine, who wasn't much of a cook in the real game, but she's going to be a cook in this one. She's also going to be doing a bit of fishing. She's good at cooking. She's going to help Hank out now and again with um, growing stuff. And she's also going to be butchering her own animals. Um, yeah. So that is everyone. I will just quickly show you the items, and I am actually going to save this as a setup then. Right, 21 of those two, 11 and 11, that's 64 drink in total. Um, that gives us a lot of free barrels as well, because every unit, what's rounded up by 5, gives you a free barrel. So, yeah. Plump helmet, I think it works on there as well. So. I've took some of those. Plump helmet spawns a seed, which it doesn't actually work with, so I've just put that to 10. I've got one of every meat because that comes with a free barrel. Oh, that's what I need to do. In fact, I can do that actually just now. Yeah, just add some more turtles. So, yeah, I've took one of every meat and some rope as well, just because rope's quite difficult to make early on, so. Yeah, um, let's call this LP, um, I'm just going to have to call it Mix because I'm not exactly specialising in anything, but it's for me LP, so yeah. Um, right, I'm going to name my f fortress, I think, off screen. Oh, by the way, as you can see here, two cats and one dog, two dogs and even one cat. That's obviously Tabby. But anyway, yeah, I'm not going to actually even bother naming, I'm just going to get straight into the gameplay. No, you never actually even see your name anyway, so we've arrived here, we've broke down, blah 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 blah. Same old story. Um Yep, when it finishes saving, there we go. Right, um let's just minimize that. That's the view I want for now. I just wanna find a good spot to start digging in. Um, in the bottom right corner here it was, I believe, was it? Oh no, no 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 not good. Sturgeon, carp, oh god, carp is very, very, very dangerous. I know you're thinking, not Jay, no. But trust me dude, in this game they are, and yes I did just call you a dude, which is quite random considering. Yeah, so I'm going to have to be very, very careful now when I'm getting that water out of there. So yeah, the river was down there, and I remember definitely that the magma pipe's somewhere up here, but it is luckily for us underground. We've only got a few levels, and I'm going to actually keep us, believe it or not, on the top level. Yep, this is pretty good. This has got everything we actually need. Um, it's a nice slope. Let me just get rid of all these now, just so I can see the game better. All oh, right, okay, some there we go. So yeah, we've got a nice hill here to dig into, which is going to be nice. I'm overusing the word nice. I'm thinking possibly having the entrance there. I'm looking at there. Only problem is there's no trading caravans can get one, two, three. No, no trading caravan can actually get through there at the moment. So I'm going to have to actually change that if I were to have my site there. But that isn't too hard, and I can quite easily and quickly, I think, mine off all that. I could even have my entrance in there, but it would make defending it a pain. Let's try a floor down. Let's just see what we've got here. 
Um, I quite like that, but it's just the river. The river is really, really, really dangerous. Ugh, dangerous. Oh, that is perfect. Look at that. That is what you want from a starting area. You c I can just close that off, minus the pond. I wonder if I can somehow drain the pond down a floor. How many tiles up is that pond? Just one. Yeah, I'm going to actually drain that pond down a floor. And I'm just going to have the pond like here. So, right. Um, join me once I've set quite a few digging allocations because we've got a lot of digging and a lot of other stuff to do. So, yeah, I'm going to cut the video here and join me when I've finished giving out orders. So, see you then.